if we were back in 1985, and I were to tell you that in the upcoming 40 years, there would be two horrific real estate and stock market crashes, two severe recessions, the 9-11 terrorist attack, that the United States would get bogged down in ensuing endless wars in the Middle East, that there would be a worldwide pandemic that kills millions and shuts down the world economy, and that over those 40 years, the U.S. national debt would rise from $1.8 trillion to $34 trillion, there'd be no way in 1985 that you would invest in real estate or the stock market. And yet despite all that turmoil, loss, and grief, since 1985, U.S. homeowners have reaped immense financial rewards by being long-term holders of real estate. Let's look at some of the history of the housing market in Massachusetts over the last 40 years. We'll see the ups and downs of the market cycle, and we'll experience how if you owned a home in Massachusetts throughout the last four decades, you benefited greatly as compared to being a long-term renter. The first chart shows the real estate recession in Massachusetts during the late 1980s and early 1990s. The Case-Shiller Home Price Index or grade of Boston fell 16%. It was a near depression in New England as the mini computer industry went belly up. Many local lenders failed. These were very scary times in Massachusetts with high foreclosure rates. Those who could afford to buy a home our prices were down very well may have been leery. But those who bought in the early 1990s proved to be the winners as shown in the next chart. The second chart shows the same down market again, but in a broader perspective. This chart covers 1987 into 1999. The downturn ends, home values recover, and then move to new all-time highs. The Boston Globe magazine famously said in its 1995 real estate edition, don't buy a home in Massachusetts, the years ahead will show flat to little appreciation. Wow, the experts were wrong. 1995 was a great time to buy a home in Massachusetts. Note also how homeowners who bought at the market peak in 1987 and rode out the downturn also reaped huge rewards during the rebound. Long-term home ownership was the winning strategy in the long run. The third chart shows 2002 into 2012. Greater Boston home values soared and then swooned during the financial panic of 2007 and the ensuing Great Recession. It was a very bad market and a terrible economy. We had buyer clients in 2012 who said, I'm not buying now, the market is too low. Yet for those who could afford to buy, 2012 proved to be the low point of home prices in Massachusetts. 2012 was the time to buy. The fourth chart shows the early 2000s boom and bust from a longer perspective. Just as with the bust of the late 1980s and early 1990s, the real estate woes of 2007 to 2012 look much less extreme in the light of what took place over time. Home values recovered and moved to fresh highs by 2016. The last chart shows home values in Massachusetts since 2017. Home prices have surged despite a sharp rise in mortgage rates. This flies in the face of conventional wisdom and would have confounded the experts at the start of the COVID pandemic in 2020. The point of all this is that no one can predict what home values would do. It's a fool's venture to attempt to time the market. Obviously, if you could time the market, you'd repeatedly buy low and sell high in each market cycle you'd be worth millions. Since that's impossible without a really good crystal ball, you are much better served to buy and hold a home. Sir John Templeton, a pioneer of the modern mutual fund industry, said years ago that there will always be very good reasons not to invest. But those who don't seek to tie in the market, those who ignore the crises and uncertainties of the moment and invest in real assets, either stocks or real estate, over time, they will be the winners. Owning real estate over the long haul means the value of your property will rise dramatically due to the relentless effects of inflation. At the Fed's target of 2% annual inflation, over 10 years, even uncompounded, that's a 20% erosion in your buying power. Owning real assets protects your purchasing power from inflation. Yes, at some point in the future, home prices will fall, but they will also recover thereafter and move higher over time. Over the long run, owning your own home is the best road to financial success. I'm Warren Reynolds with Berkshire Hathaway Home Services Commonwealth. If you'd like to discuss your own road to financial success in real estate, message me or give me a call at 508-561-6259.